Well, thank you so much. And I think it's important to say that the entry point to this is that uh, the, this uh, climate crisis is a crisis for humanity. And uh, we need to acknowledge now that by the time uh, the children of today reach uh, retirement age, they risk experiencing a world where uh, important societal functions in many countries uh, will have simply broken down uh, as a result of conflicts over water, uh, food, land. But we can also at the same time be the generation that solves uh, the challenge of the climate crisis. And the question is, how do we do that? The answer is that we cannot only listen to scientists, but we need to take immediate action in every single area, not least uh, including industry. While industry is very uh, essential to our modern societies, heavy industry and uh, heavy goods transport also account for some 30% of all global emissions. So transitioning these sectors from gray to green will be key in the fight against climate change. And fossil-free industry will combine climate action with growing economies, long-term competitiveness, and new jobs. Uh, just look at the example of hybrid present here today with huge potential of fossil-free steel. And in that spirit, and in response to the Secretary General's request to co-lead the industry transition track, I'm happy to announce that Sweden and India, in good cooperation, is now launching the leadership group for the industry transition with the support of the World Economic Forum and a strong group of new member countries. Now, this group will support and accelerate the transition of heavy industry. It will assist sectors as well as countries in developing roadmaps for going fossil-free and also facilitate the necessary innovation and technology transfer. So we must act in every sector, and um, with that in mind, I'm also pleased to share this with you. Sweden is already the largest donor to the Green Climate Fund. We will now double our contribution to the Green Climate Fund. Everyone, everyone has to do their bit for a just transition, and this, the leadership group will deliver a real impact. And I warmly invite those of you who haven't joined us already to please do so. Working together, we will tackle this crisis for humanity. Thank you. Thank you so much indeed, Prime Minister.